now would try to make a start but I would rather you let me give my heart to some with love all right y'all I got one of my custom hats on coming out here because uh J hubs is man in the fire and frankly, I'm tired of trying to use that cell phone. I just realized how many clips I'm going to have to load. So anyway, fire was not working before with the uh, lighter fluid. Yeah. Look at that. That's the boss right there. Got it going, y'all. Anyway, uh, this is our little celebration for the night. There's Hola. the man. He has got... He is the fire starter. I'm hot. <laughs> he's hot and he's sitting in front of the fire. Oh, we got some fireworks, y'all. Not much, but I was trying to get the big ones that went off earlier. But anyway, just figured I'd try to get some footage directly from the laptop. Save me a little bit of upload. So, uh, oh. in case my lazy gotta ass does, chair. yeah, I got to get on that next. In case my lazy ass does not get all these clips together tonight, <laughs> there's a lot, y'all. Um, we're going to do the happy 2017 New Year's thing again. Say happy New Year's, Hubs. Hey. <laughs> he's so over it. He's hot. And now he's man in the fire of all things he needs to be doing while he's hot. Well, at least it's outside in the cold. Yeah. Well, it's not that cold. Was it supposed to be 55-ish? Cold. Cooling it inside. Yeah. Sounds like they're shooting down here. Anyway. It's not bad, but you know, at least there's no mosquitoes. Oh my gosh, we usually have mosquitoes galore, y'all. You don't understand. The boys are having a fit back there because they don't like the news. It's mainly Romeo. He's back there shaking like a punk. Everybody else is cool. I'm gonna leave him back there, let him get a little conditioning. Maybe he'll get used to. Well, we got embers. Let's get me a little skittish from the firefighting days, y'all. I'm not used to sitting next to the fire. Let me move away from that. Got some embers going. Next thing I know, my hat will be on fire. Look at that. See? Got embers floating to the grass. Anyway, it's a nice night. So, got some good weather. At least it's not raining. We have plenty of New Year's that's raining. What are you waving around? <laughs> He's got a stick back here on fire. So, uh, we ate a lot of pizza. So, we are not hungry at all. And we were at Walmart way too long. I'm thirsty, though. I'll take my can of soda now. Well, all right. We got a mission, folks. Yeah, please. Not a problem. I'm going to go inside and fetch some soda for the fire starter over here. Actually, I'm going to take the short route. I opened up the front door. There's not really that many people out here. Got a few. Their kids doing their thing. Y'all have to pardon the body cam. You know how I am when I'm carrying around this laptop. Oh, Jesus, I'm stuck. All right, let's see here. <clears throat> Stop for a brief vape. Got a few smoke rings in there. I don't know where I left my vape. It's somewhere. It's lost. Lost in the oblivion that is life so far. <clears throat> and for those of y'all that were bugging me about doing another OPK, even though yesterday's was negative, I got my stuff saved up. Isn't that fun? See, when y'all TTC, you don't get grossed out about pee in a cup sitting on a cup. <laughs> tripping, <laughs> tripping over groceries. Pee in a cup. Uh, yeah, I saved it because I didn't know how long we were going to be gone. It is what it is. All right, he wanted his soda. I'm getting distracted. So, the freezer is full, y'all. I don't even know where I'm going to put all kinds of stuff that we just bought. Look at this floor. Look at... Do you see these groceries? They have to go somewhere. They got to go somewhere. Anyway, I'm going to take my soda out before I blow it up. This fridge is out of control, too. I cook way too many dinners this week, you guys. I made, like, citrus mango chicken, black beans and rice. See what else we got going on in here. I did that McCormick stir fry video for you guys. Uh, Asian stir fry. Look at my refrigerator. Do you see all that shit in there? 
that is containers of nothing but gourmet dinners. I got um, bourbon chicken. I think there's a... I don't even know what that is up top. I don't know. I got all kinds of stuff I can't even identify anymore because I cook way too much crap. So he'll be able to take it for work. He's got to go back, unfortunately, in a couple days. Mm, I lost his soda just that quick. There it is. There it is. So we're going to make him real happy because we're going to take him a vape. And we're going to take him if I don't fall on my face in the dark because there's all kinds of yarn down here. You guys have no idea. Those who know me from before know that your girl crochets. Crazy. Damn, there's that artillery going off, yo. So anyway. Ooh, he got it going good. Look at that. Look at that. Fire starter. You can put your uh, laptop there. There you go. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm going to cut this video short soon enough. I'm just uh, doing a little extra. This will go up tonight. And then I'll um, do a more detailed one. You see how I switched that up? Y'all like that, right? Started out with, I don't know if I'll have enough time I'll to do all the clips. Huh? I'll need my drip. Oh, which one? The uh, bottle oh, that's the next one? The one that was next to it. All right, yeah. Preparations. To... Preparations. So. Hi. How you doing? You finally get to meet him. How you doing? If this were live, I'd be taking questions, but it ain't, so you're out of shit luck. How you doing? Like my tattoos? I like them too. Anyway, here's the fire. Share this fire with you guys. See? La la. Can't see shit. Anyway. You can see my fat ass right here. And my wife approaching with my bottle of melonish stuff. Melonish stuff. I would brew, I did or smoke rings. Vaping? I did smoke rings inside. With this? Yes. Good. I don't know if I can do it out here. It's kind of breezy. Easy breezy. Comfort girl. Kind of craziness that I do every day. See, I didn't even care because it's normal. Anyway, we had a <coughs> really lazy day yesterday. We didn't go anywhere. Didn't do anything. Nope. J Hubs was not feeling good earlier today. I'm back. I and think. Still hot. <laughs> He's always hot. That's why when it's cold at night, that's where I snuggle up. Cause it's nice and warm. I can't have a blanket in bed, but I don't know. You barely use it. He's wrapped up in it every morning. I have no idea how. Because he's always cold. I mean, hot. Sorry, I'm always cold. Anyway, uh, let's see. We went. God, the fire's out of control. We got our Christmas bicyclists out. Motorcyclists. Yeah, motorcycle club down the streets doing their thing. Um, let's see, I'm gonna drop down here. Oh gosh, I don't know if you can even see me. The I glare. Can't... No, this should be good. It's just. I think it's still your overly really professional fire starting skill. You just did it up. So anyway, we went to. We kept it simple. We went to CC's Pizza buffet. It wasn't all that. It was all right. Um, should have got wings. We should have got wings. Uh, I told her. Um, so what else did we do? From there we... I may have gas, so excuse me. Ew. Let me know so I can move. <laughs> no, you're down, you're upwind from it though. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Um, so we went to a dollar store just for you people that bugged me about taking another OPK, which I'm getting ready to go inside and take it. I'm sure it'll be negative. Did you take it out? Yeah, the P is sitting on the counter. It's Bathroom good. counter. Whatever, they already saw it. It's in the kitchen. Oh, okay. Can't lie. <laughs> it's I not lie. Video. I'm a liar. Okay, you get used to it. Lies. Try to be polite. He didn't know where it was. It's wrapped up. Damn. It's wrapped up. Um, what was I saying? Okay, so CeCe's Pizza. Then we did that quick run dollar store. Well, that was before CeCe's actually. And then we went to Walmart because we had to do this last end of the year Christmas shopping or Christmas grocery shopping thing and stocked up so I went and bought as many huge containers of got the salsa one darn it um ketchup mustard seasoning uh, packets of, excuse me I told you I guess I guess he said excuse me yeah. 
um, seasoning packets, tons of them, so I can do more cooking videos. Big old packet of chicken, so I got a lot of flavors coming up. I'm not sure what I'll cook, but it'll be there. That's true. I'm the fire putter outer. What, okay. do you, what do you need to do? I'm uh, just trying to. I'll get it. I'm good. Stoke it. I need one of those things. This one was coming in. I know you got a gun. Nobody cares. Yeah, this one's walking around Walmart, leaning over the cart because he was um, hot with a big old gun print in his back. <laughs> I was just like, hmm. I'm legal. He's security conscious, y'all. He is card carrying. I'm gonna burn your hand with this. See this? Unsafe fire practices. Do not stick your hand in a fire trying to get some wood moved around. Do you want me to get some more of the bigger sticks? I got it. I'm good. Alright. So, anyway, it is what it is. Uh, nothing majorly special going on. We're just chilling out here by the fire because we've been saying we were going to do it. Last night kind of got away from us and we had other things to do. Been busy the last couple nights. Y'all know that if you've been watching the channel. It's gonna burn his chestnuts <laughs> roasting on an open fire. Not my nuts. JC's fingers gonna get burned. Although I've told his ass many times, many ways. Get out of this chair. That's the captain's seat. Well, I ride over here. No, I'm gonna go get uh, this. Probably the stool. It's right there by the door. I'm just trying to make some footage for the end of 2016. <laughs> look at how evil you look when you got a fire behind you. Look, fire, no fire, fire. See if I can look like a dragon. Fire. Yeah, we're silly like that, and we have not had anything to drink, so we don't need. So if anyone sees my mother, tell her I didn't have anything to drink. Just naturally happy. Thank you very much. I hear some dogs jumping on the gate back here. Either Sparky is doing dental services or Romeo is really wanting to come in because he does not like any kind of loud noise, especially thunderstorms. And in Florida, that is a problem. And I'm sorry, but he's supposed to be showing in dog shows later. And we go out and show in the rain all the time. So he's going to have to get over it. Let me go around the other side because I look crazy. Crazy. Breathed in a face full of smoke. So, this films. This was very dry. It's not going to last very long. Didn't we buy wood? What did we buy? We bought that starter, didn't we? Yeah, I think it's down there where the uh, s'mores stuff is. Let me go see. Uh, the other way there. Face up real quick. You gotta talk. Hey, how you doing? Sorry. <laughs> so it's putting the last pieces of this dry wood we had here. I'm trying to get that big log in the middle started up a bit. Uh, that last two pieces. Yeah, as she said, we tried uh, started out with uh, lighter fluid. That didn't work out. I said, fuck it, and decided to put on some, uh, a splash of gasoline and then light that up. That took, that, that got it going. Never, ever, ever use a lot of gasoline if you're going to start a fire. Just a splash will do. And that, when I mean a, sh a splash, I mean about an ounce glass, a shot glass. Uh, we have a, mos a skeeter log, which is for mosquitoes, so I don't know that we want to waste that. Because we got no mosquitoes right now. Oops. We've got the essentials, you guys. you got to have your marshmallows, the grams, and the chocolate. And the vape. S'mores. For those of you who vape or want to vape, this is a cuboid, cuboid mod. It's cuboid 150. It comes out of the box at 150 watts. You can plug it into the internet to their webpage and upgrade it to 200 watts. Um, sporting a mini temple on top, which is a drip uh, RDA. I've got tanks, but I'm, they're in the process of being worked on. I need to 
redo them and I got I got to get some coils but uh, these are my fallbacks I also have a, uh, a regular temple which is huge but I don't need right now um, should we bring another big log or no not until I can get that one going well all right and then I buy a lot of juices and I started out with these smaller glasses but then I started getting the bigger juices so I can refill these as I go along so don't mind the, the bottle I tend to like uh, Captain Crunch type buttery type of vapes um, fruity whenever and mints uh, you know uh, sharp mints like peppermint or spearmint or menthol Ooh, I just smoked up the lids y'all yeah. That's the dragon maker there. Probably don't even need a, a fire. We can create our own smoke. <laughs> nice though. It's nice and warm for me. I know you're hot. Just added to your hotness. I'm in the mist. So, I recommend the cuboid even for starters. Because you can adjust this. You can adjust this anywhere from 20 uh, watts up to 200 watts. And it's temperature control. I mean, it's got all goodies. Look at the videos online. I re recommend the reviews. JC approved. Um, I, I purchased a buttload of uh, mods, and this is the best one I've had. I've, I've had all sorts of mods. This is the best one. I'm not even going to mention the others. This is the best one I've had, and I've had two of them. I gave my first one away to her son. He did? Shay? Shay, shout out if you ever see this channel. I don't know that you will, you know, because I'm just saying. It's got a lot of stuff on there you probably don't want to hear. Oh my god, my mom, I don't want to hear about it. I don't want to hear about it. Oh, oh mom, I don't need to see that. <laughs> hey, we're not shy. You know, I'm keeping her happy, Shay. We're not, um, wow, he went there. We're not, um, shy well, people, it's so. A good thing. Uh, yes, it's a very good thing. You want to cook that up? Well, I don't know what we're going to put it on because we got to put the marshmallows on something. We got paper plates in there? No, I mean a stick type thing. Oh. We didn't get any skewer stuff, so I'm not going to really worry about it at the second. Yeah, yeah. Once we get this going and it stays going, then we can do some s'mores anytime. What time is it? Hanger. Grab a water oh, yeah, hanger. Yeah. Insulate that sucker with something. It'll get hot. Um, it is only. All right. Let me. Good lord, I can't. I can't work my phone, y'all. I'm not a smiler. Sorry. It's going to be on the show at some point because it's JCT squared. That would be JCT one and two. Are we going to have a JCT three? Because that would be like huge. We're, we uh, have to we're sporting the... our uh, JCT <laughs> square headwear. Yes. Okay. JCT square headwear. Okay. Uh, I was... make all sorts of uh, accessories. I was in flagrant violation early, y'all, because I didn't have my hat on. He's had his on like the whole night. Uh, I'll go what do you get one of the larger logs. I got it. Uh, They're probably out of bed, right? She leaves me here all the time. I don't know if you can hear me. I don't know how good the mic is on this thing. So. Um, back to vaping. You have to read the research. I'm not going to spark. Uh, everybody's saying that it's unhealthy or that it's not good for you. Uh, the glycol that's in the juices is the same medical glycol that's used in medication. And, and as a matter of fact, they use polyglycol. This gives you an option of polyglycol or vegetable-based glycol. So that's up to you. Put the big one on top going this way. It's going to work out on this top? Yeah. Base it on that end and lay, lay, it, lay it down. There you go. Without burning yourself. <laughs> Face full of Fire person. I, I put them out. I am not about playing in them or starting them. <clears throat> so hopefully Ooh. they'll catch on. Alright, so got it going. Where are we at? Almost 20 minutes. Um, so yeah, this is good. I mean, we need more twigs, but we don't have any. We got all that stuff on the side we can use, but that goes everywhere. Yeah. Can't rob the neighbors. Is I got all that smoke. wood I cut on the side there that I never picked up. I don't know how well that'll burn. What is well, that? Junky stuff? It's junky. It'll, any, everything burns. What about this? Look, There's that's catching on real good. Oh, I heard something big. See, this thing about Florida, yo. Well, there's a fence right here. And I just went to go pick up a stick in the grass and something went... <laughs> Be careful, because you will disappear. Something will snatch you up into the fog, just like that cloud right there. 
I'm not into I'm not into trick cloud tricks or anything. I just like to vape. I don't smoke. I just learned to do rings. Rings only because I like the challenge. Oh God! I just wait. I got it. Stick to the laptop. <laughs> now we're getting a 3D view. Oh, wait, green. wait. It's got a. It's got a. Yeah, that's why I said it didn't really dry out. I don't think we can use this one. No. Okay. Let's just stick with what we got. We got enough to last us a cup an hour or two. We're not going to stay here all, all that long. Oh, when you start a fire, don't use anything that's been processed. All those chemicals come out in the smoke and, and it affects you. Oh, hey, you got to see that. Yeah, cool. All right, let me get this cool. Um, fire's died down a little bit, but the, what counts is working. You see that all those small branches that I burn is that ember in the middle. And we put the bigger logs on top. I had used the bigger log as a backdrop, let that catch fire. Then once I knew that everything was going good, then I put the larger log on top. We don't need a whole blaze going. Just the heat for me. Just the heat for her. Because I'm cold. I'm already hot. Always. Good thing y'all could not see me at that foolishness that just happened at the front door. Because I sure went to walk right in thinking this half open and I was just going to go push it. Yeah, I got pushed right back out because there's a bag behind it. So it promptly bounced my ass right back out the door. But yeah, so not a lot going on over here, but it's not for us. And um, I still got some time. Got time to kill. It's only 22.04. Y'all cannot see that because I have not learned my lesson yet that the phone is too bright. Giving you some to see the fireworks as they come up. I wish we would have caught the big ones. Somebody bought some professional stuff earlier over there. Had the big boys going off. Like, you know, when you watch a show and it goes... <laughs> yeah, there you go. Boom. There you so. go. I don't think I can do smoke rings out here, but I'm going to try. There's a cross draft here. There you go. There's another. Before I choke myself over here. <clears throat> He's made some really strong stuff that I can't do and <clears throat> I end up sounding like my Simpson sister by the time I've vaped it for a few minutes. So I have the weak one whenever I find where I left it. It's under on my bed, I'm sure. Oh look, fire's going now. Yes. We got embers. It's, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Embers. Did the big one stop? And do not throw gasoline on embers. Don't. <laughs> huh? Just a warning. That do would not be do it. I would do. Well, I don't know. not much else to say, y'all. We're just gonna chill out here until the. Uh, in an hour and 55 minutes. I don't know that we'll be out here that long. It's not like we're in New York City and there's a big ball that's gonna drop or something and we're sitting here ah, waiting on it. We're just kind of chilling. Neighborhood stuff going on. Kids down the street lighting their uh, fireworks off and we're just chilling. He's gonna go to work again. Show y'all how he does this here. Look at that. Turn that log around. See that? Oh, he's going for a three for y'all. A three for. All right. Going away. He's leaving me, Lucille. I guess he's gonna go get some extra wood. We got the fire going and well enough. There's lots of embers underneath there. If y'all can see that, it's nice and warm actually. It's supposed to be like 55-ish. Let I check my phone, cause y'all saw that 39 foolishness. I was not feeling it. Actually, it's only 61 out here. 
See if I can dim this sucker up a little bit. It's a lovely 61 degrees. Look at that. Unfortunately, we don't have Mr. Chase because we have to share time with him, but hopefully he's seeing some really cool fireworks or getting to do some at least. Um, we don't usually do any unless got the kiddo, so there's no reason really. Sorry. Right in the camera. Didn't mean to get you. <laughs> right in the camera. What is that? A vine? It's just burning all kinds of stuff. You got any illicit tax documents you want to bring out, or you know, anything else that needs to be stowed away? He's getting more wood, y'all. So anyway, we will slowly do more on the Q and A stuff. Uh, as we go along, we, let's see, what should we do on a Q&A now or give some info yeah, or Yeah, let's no? do a Q&A. All right. They need to know more about us. Because we're kind of just rambling at 26 minutes here. Let me start with me real quick because they know about you. Everybody knows that I am an avid marksman. I don't hunt unless I have to. And but I do target shoot. I love the art of ballistics. It's my kind of thing. Um, take politics out of it. Um, I think that firearms is a natural right, or weapons for that matter, is a natural right. Um, people like to use the argument that. Uh, the Second Amendment was designed for a time when muskets were the fashion, and that's not needed now because we have technology is advanced. Well, if you want to use that argument on the Constitution, then for that matter, you don't need cell phones. Your freedom of speech, pen and paper will do. Really? Right? If you want to use that argument, then that I have to apply that way too. Uh, Emmanuel Kant says that laws have to be universal. What's good for one is good for the other. So if you want to apply one reasoning to one law, you have to apply the same reasoning to another law. So that said, I'll step out. Oh, wait a minute. You, you carry, he's Mr. Carrier over here. He, I carry everything. I mean, all the time. I don't think there's over time he's not like loaded well, up. Well, not at work. I don't. Well, yeah, that, that part. But. I don't at work. He's a very safety conscious individual. I don't even know half the time until I put my arm around him and I'm like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yeah, you can carry and, and no one will know that you have a weapon. You don't have to be obnoxious about it. Uh, let's see. If you're wondering, I weigh 320 pounds. Yeah, Ooh, I'm all that. You that. <laughs> they don't even know what I weigh, I don't think. Um, let's see, quick rundown on me. Uh, yeah, so much. Um, well, I'm not going to get into the older kids stuff. I don't know if they want to be involved in all that. Anyway, I have two older children. Oldest son is my son. Uh, my daughter's next. And then, of course, we've got our little six-year-old Chase working on the next one. Y'all know that. Um, it's going pretty good right there. Uh, let's see. Quick rundown. Oh, I have 12 tattoos on me, if you're wondering how many more tattoos I've got. Dragons, big time. A lot of dragons. Nice ones, guys. Um, and we're not consuming any alcohol, just so you know. When that can goes up, that's not alcohol. <coughs> Jesus. Yeah, we got some smokage going on right there. I'm going to cloud the camera out, y'all. Alright, let's turn this a little bit. So anyway, uh, about me... I, of course, 43. He is. He is. 25. Nice. I don't date younger men. We're 10 years apart, y'all. I'm 43, he's 53. He's trying to cover up over here. Anyway, uh, we met on a dating site because people have asked that. <coughs> Hopefully, he makes it through the fire. Uh, no, that do. was the soda. Oh. <laughs> Alright, we met on a dating site. We. 
approached that like it was a corporate business meeting you guys it's like what can you do what won't you do what can you put up what what won't you where do you try to take this company from here you see what i'm saying uh we're both older we've been through it uh he's been married twice i've been married twice number three it's it it ain't we're done we're good so and we are sporting our <laughs> jc square <laughs> jct squared uh headwear okay we have accessories that go along with it Plugs. Feel free to ask and inquire. PM us if you want an order. Yeah, that's me. Um, I went from... Let me see if I can put this up a little more because I have to bend down too much. and I'm tired of bending down. All right, so I started out as... From high school. Let's see. I'm not going to go into the overachiever history. It's too boring, y'all. Anyway, let me just run down the medical background. Or, um, whatever, employment background. Started out as an EMT. Became a... Firefighter, uh, paramedic, then firefighter, worked as a firefighter paramedic for a long time in both the fire department and the hospital. I've worked at doctor's offices. Um, I was kind of burnt out on the whole medical because I started on the ambulance at 19. So I was in my little late 30s, mid 30s when I finally was like, I need to get out of medical because <laughs> I can't take it no more. Um, from there, I decided to take a change of venue and became a police dispatcher. Uh, from there, I got a job working in the mayor's office in lovely Tampa, Florida. Not the direct office. There's many offices above it, which I was in transportation at the time. Um, let's see, from there, I left and became a kind of stay-at-home mom because that's when I had dear son, DS. That's what we call it on the board, you guys. You know that. Um, he's six now. But when I had him, I stayed home. I was determined I wanted to make my own business because I wanted to be able to have more time with my son, do more family stuff because it sounds like they're shooting over here. We're not in LA, I promise. Um, you know, when you do a lot of medical stuff, especially those serious jobs, you know, like um, paramedic, firefighter, or EMT, all of those, I spent a lot of 24 hour shifts. I mean, a lot where if you're not there Christmas morning because you're at work, you're gone 24 hours. You just missed all of Christmas with your family, your kids. You know, did that for many, many, many years. And it was fine at the time, you know, but I was kind of like I wanted to change. So, basically, I started my own business. I cook Portuguese pastries. Um, I do a little bit of everything. I made some artwork. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do right away. Somebody sounds like they're killing their child down the street. Uh, what else did I do? I, um, right now, crochet hats. I do a lot of that. I've got tons of them. Uh, I do orders Pastries. for those. Pastries. Number one seller. Uh, smoke is coming back to me. Wind has shifted. The winds of change are upon us. Arr. Anyway, we are both slightly silly. He's being real cool right now, but he can be really silly. You know I'm silly, because you guys have seen plenty of my videos. He's the first time he's made this long of an appearance. The man. You the can't myth. be an asshole, trust me. I didn't say it. I did. I didn't I say knew it. it. I didn't say that. I'm not ashamed. I did not say that there. Anyway. Um, did you glue this? I think I stapled it. You know, I uh, used, I used the stapler. I stole some marshmallows out of the bag a while ago from Chase he wanted them and then he didn't want them when he gave them to you know how kids are anyway so yeah um basically i'm all about my own business at this moment i'm between both houses right now until we get thing one back here finished painting and you know whatever we're gonna do to it and then uh we're gonna see if we're about renting you know maybe selling we don't know what we're doing yet with it uh, i've got a house with mom on the other side and i'm there half the week i'm here half the week so i'm shuffling I'll be glad when I don't have to shuffle and me and the man here with the marshmallows can just chill. Uh, it's a lot right now, so I'm not really running the business. Um, hoping 2017, which is coming soon. Hoping. Oh, that hat just flip shot. Come off. Let me stop playing around. Um, I am hoping to restart. I've got plenty of stock. I just need to figure out whether I'm going to do markets over there or over here, which depends on where we go. Who's that? Hang on. Romeo! Stop! He's on patrol, y'all. 
scared of the fireworks a minute ago, but over here running his mouth across the fence now. So anyway, we are um, knock it off, doing our thing. So Romeo, uh, that's Bucky. Get it, Bucky. Bucky, cut it out. You can tell the barks apart. Um, so basically, right now I am just doing the house stuff, y'all. You know, busy, trying to stay busy. I don't want to be home. Wonderful housewife. <laughs> I don't want to be home, feet kicked up, trying to watch soap operas and the telenovela and have you know the bonbons going and all that. That's not me. So I'm um, I'm trying to keep it keep it going and got to get some dog stuff going again shortly because I did do my other side hobby thing is showing and breeding and right now we just don't have the setup so pretty much Romeo's chilling the other two are pets they are fixed adopted adopt animals from the shelter if you can um, I like to show that's how I got into showing so there is a pet rescue for every breed out there so don't go to uh, don't go over the argument that oh I can't get a breed I like because they're all much at the can't, no, there are pet rescues for every breed out there. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, there are, absolutely. Because people get into it and they're like, oh, that's so cute, I want one of those. And then they figure out they can't live with it. Then, at six, seven, eight years old, they, the cuteness wears away and they say, oh, I got another 20 years with this mutt. <laughs> nah, that ain't gonna work. And they give up on the dog. Yep, or they get into something like a Romeo or a Great Dane and they go, oh my gosh, they're so cute. And when they start growing, I'm not kidding you, Romeo was growing five pounds a week. And every two to three weeks, he visibly was about two inches taller, y'all. By five months old, when I, well, let me go back. I saw this puppy when he was first born at five days old. I wasn't sure which one I wanted. He was a big, fat little piglet like this. He was born like two pounds. He was a big boy. Okay, um, then stop killing your children, please. If you're gonna beat them, beat them in private. Don't do it in the street. They are hating life down there. Somebody is. Anyway, um, I went back. I was five days old. I went back and saw him at three weeks old. He was about four or five pounds. Went back and saw him at nine weeks old to pick my boy up. I kid y'all not, I thought I was leaving with a, oh how cute, no I left with a carry it under the arms because he was 19 pounds you guys, eight and a half weeks old, 19 pounds, okay, this, know what you're getting into when you see a breed and you think that's cool, I want one, you need to know that you can live with it one and you're going to keep it because think about what you're getting into. Big breeds, 10 to 13 years, max, or about mm -hmm. small breeds, anything mm -hmm. smaller than say 12 inches, at the withers, you're going to have them for 15 to 20 years. Mm, Some be prepared. 25 years. And a lot of people aren't. And unfortunately, they get tired of them and they want to move. And all of a sudden, you're not convenient. And that's how your dogs end up. Pure breed dogs in rescues. Pet rescue. So please check your rescues because your dogs usually will only be a couple hundred dollars, if that. And remind you, they have done all the vet work. They have all usually the microchipped them. They already can tell you everything about the personality, so it will fit what you're needing. They're not going to give you the one that's going to bite your kid because if it's not good with kids, you don't get that one. It's not an option. So they're going to tell you the personality. They know more about them than any pet store. When you walk in a pet, please don't go to a pet store. But we went in a pet store and they had little French bulldogs. I think they're the cutest thing ever. Four thousand dollars. Have you lost your damn mind? They you can do get not cost that price. Bucks red pet rescue. Yeah, go to a rescue, please. First, I mean, you do not need to go to a breeder and buy a dog that isn't fixed unless you plan to show. And if you insist on getting a puppy, you better have the time to train them and take care of them and walk them through the numbers because they don't—they're born of a clean slate. They don't know shit. Exactly, and it's not their fault. So people get mad and. This stupid dog peed on my carpet. Well, guess what? We made the rule dogs live in a house, but they shouldn't live in a yard on a chain either. If you don't have time for your dog to be in the house and out of the house, don't get the dog. If you don't have the right setup for the breed that you're getting, don't get the dog. It's common sense. Okay? He might, I, there's a lot of breeds I like. Trust me, you guys. I've been showing for years. There's a lot of breeds I like. I like the look of them. I like the way they move. I like, you know, things about them. I cannot live with them. Mm-mm. 
can tell you right now, Labs, one of the most popular breeds. Water dogs. Number one. Jumping in puddles everywhere they go. I National can't do number one breed. Labs. Can't do wet dogs in the house. Not my thing. Plus, I have allergies. I'm allergic to dogs. But, again, I want to have a dog. So I have to be conscious. What can I do with this? I can't do a lot of grooming. So there's no reason for me to have any of those breeds that have all that hair. Just know what you're getting into, people. Anyway. So, yeah. Dog breeding showing that's on my sideline. Uh, I don't do the puppy end. I stick to the males. Just don't have the space. I have done uh, chihuahuas in the past breeding and again I was very picky about where my dogs went because people go oh they're so cute I can carry them around all day long yes and no you you can't not train your dog it doesn't matter how big or how small they are the little dogs will bite the crap out of everybody they see if they have not been trained properly and socialized and they should not be in a house with little small tiny kids. dogs don't know they're small no and they will they go just know that there up. are bigger dogs than them yeah and they don't care sometimes they just run right up and that's lunch or I had one break a leg, it cost me $800. It was gonna be a show chihuahua, a cute little white one. She jumped off of a little teeny ledge that wasn't even, I wanna say it was like a little table. It wasn't grooming, you know, wasn't even a foot and a half off the ground. Broke her front leg as soon as she jumped to the ground. Just that simple. So be aware, little breeds are delicate, you guys. They don't know they're small. You have to watch out for them all the times because they're not watching out for themselves. They don't know any better. And they get hurt really easy. Some of them have really bad knees, back problems. Different breeds have different problems. Be aware. Do your research. Check it out. Just like anything else, don't go buy a car and you don't know anything about how the heck it runs. I mean, it's common sense, folks, but we're common sense people. Uh, so anyway, I don't know. We don't have a whole lot else going on. And this video is 41 minutes long. We've just been kind of rambling. Yeah, this video is brought to you by JCT Squared Head Apparel. You'll notice that we are wearing our own product. It is very comfortable. Made to size, made to design. You tell us what you want, she'll make it. That's what I do. Actually, I just made that hat last night. I just, uh, he told me he wanted a tight fitting cap, and he picked the colors, and there you go. Wrote a song about it. I like to hear it. Here it go. Whee! That was on an old show a long time ago. I don't remember what show it was. But, uh,. Nah, let's see. Not much else to say about us. We're I'm chilling. a teacher, special ed. I have uh, my under, my undergraduates in psychology. I have two masters in education. Um, I came up the hard way. Started out as a paraprofessional. Worked my way up. Okay. So anything special ed, you have issues, legal issues. I'm, I'm not a I, I'm not a lawyer, but I can inform you of the law. And you can do, tell you how to do your research if you have any issues regarding your kids. Good reference, uh, Rights Law, W-R-I-G-H-T-S Law, L-A-W, dot com. Go on the site. They'll, they have immense resources for students of uh, special, you know, students special needs for special education. Highly educated man, my friends. Highly educated man. He's smart. He's real smart. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. You know, we do our thing, so. Go ahead and wrap this video up and uh, tell y'all for the last time. Happy New Year's. Happy New Year. And hopefully everybody gets uh, everything they wish for in 2017. Have a better year than you had in 2016. Whether it was good, bad, ugly, otherwise. Set higher goals for yourself, you know, even if it's just, uh, I'm going to go to the gym one day a week or whatever, you know. And your perception defines your reality. That's right. Don't worry about your hair, your car, your house, your clothes. It is what you like, and it's about you. Do not let other people influence you as to what you should be, how you should act, and what you have to have. Please yeah, be I your own person. i got a kick-ass fire going on here. He does. I'm going to show you. I haven't had to do anything with it. Things just rolling. Rolling on the river. Alright, I'm gonna get off of here because we're at 44 minutes in. Anyway, I gotta put some titles on this video because I'm gonna upload this sucker right now. And uh, it's probably gonna take until New Year's for this sucker to publish. Y'all know how YouTube is. And I'm not editing shit, so y'all just gonna have to deal with it. Scroll forward. I'm gonna put all the subjects in the title. 
and y'all can scroll forward that little button. you know how to use your finger if you're on YouTube to begin with you ain't got a business on there if you know how to work it you know how to move forward on the video so yeah use that finger creatively <laughs> all right good night guys <laughs>